Today on MTG Unpacked, we're taking a look at the new Zendikar Rising Sneak Attack Commander deck. So if you missed the previous one, we took a look at the Land's Wrath deck. I'll pop a link in the corner, check it out. So I'm curious which one people think is the best. I guess we'll find out today. So these came out September 25th, 2020. Uh, going for about 20 bucks a piece, so a fair bit cheaper than a usual commander deck. So let's take a look at this one. This is a blue-black deck. The commander here is Anawan the Ruin Thief. So we'll get a closer look at that in a moment. And on the back here, seize power once more. So it looks like an army of rogues. All right. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so 100 card deck with three new cards, deck box, 10 double-sided token cards, life rule strategy, insert, and reference card. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. And normally they would release new Planeswalker decks at the time of a new set, but I think this time they're trying something different. Going with Commander, since it's one of the most popular Magic formats. Leave a note in the comments if you agree. Is this your favorite format? So we've got an interesting new packaging design, seems to be a bit smaller than the old Commander decks. Let's see if I can get this out of here, pop it out like so. Hopefully it did not cause any damage. Okay, looks alright. So we've got the deck here, tucked into this cardboard sleeve. And a bunch of stuff falls out of here, including a very nice deck box. So let's take a look here. So we've got this little life counter thing. I think it goes up to 40. Yep. And I'm guessing counts down on the other side. Down to 1. Yep. Alright, so that's nifty. So if you're new to Commander, we've got this flyer here. Learn to play Commander. Free for all multiplayer games. Starting at 40 life. And a bit about combat damage there, command zone. So if you're new to Commander, definitely freeze frame that, check it out. And some information here about Anawan the Ruin Thief. Okay, and how to play the deck. So a bunch of rogues and sneak attacks, okay. So we'll see what that is about momentarily. Now let's take a look at this deck box. These are pretty cool actually because they don't normally have these big deck boxes but look at this you can check in your commander and your deck and you have room for sleeved cards as well so that is a nice addition nice deck box we'll put that over there. Let's take a look at the commander here. So we have Anawan the Ruin Thief, legendary creature, vampire rogue, it's a mythic. 2 4 for 4. Other rogues you control get plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so definitely a tribal deck. Whenever one or more rogues you control deal combat damage to a player, that player mills a card for each one damage dealt to them. Okay, milling as well, interesting. If the player mills at least one creature card this way, you draw a card. And to mill a card, a player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard in case you were wondering. Okay, let's get into the main deck here. And we've got an absolute ton of Commander videos on the channel. So if you've missed any of the reviews from other decks, I'll pop a link in the corner. Definitely check it out. Okay, so I'm trying to separate out the lands here. So a bunch of lands. Okay, so we'll take a look at those at the end. Pop those down there, and let's take a look at the tokens. So we've got a Thopta token, 1-1, one, one. and on the other side, Fairy Rogue token. Okay, was not expecting that. So a couple of those. Goblin Rogue, yes! Say 1-1 one, one Goblin Rogue, that is very cool. I think this might be my favourite deck without having even looked at much of it yet. Okay, so Fairy... And rats as well. Are you kidding? 1-1 one, one rat. Okay, this deck wins. Maybe I don't even need to review it. Okay, so there we go. But I will not leave you disappointed. So rats, rats, germ token, 0-0 zero, zero, germ. We've got it all here, don't we? Yes. And a bit about on your turn and popular magic formats. Let's get this stuff out of the way. 
and dig in here. So I'm just going to grab roughly half of this and we will start going through the cards here. Starting off with Etherize, instant for four. Return all attacking creatures to their owner's hand. Interesting. So bounce your opponent's creatures back to hand. Distant Melody, sorcery for four. Choose a creature type, draw a card for each permanent you control of that type. So you're probably going to want to pick, what, rogues, rats, goblins, whatever. Fact or fiction, instant for four. Reveal the top card, five cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Next up, Fairy Vandal Creature, Fairy Rogue. Here we go. The rogues are starting one, two for two with Flash and Flying. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Fairy Vandal. Invisible Stalker, Creature, Human Rogue, one, one for two, has Hexproof and can't be blocked. Latchkey Fairy, Creature, Fairy Rogue, three, one for four with Flying, Prowl, two and a blue. So you may cast this card for its Prowl cost if you don't. Combat damage to a player. This turn with a fairy or rogue. When Latchkey Fairy enters Bedfield, if its prowl cost was paid, draw a card. Meringue River Prowler, creature human rogue 2 1 for 3. Can't block and can't be blocked. You may cast Meringue River Prowler from your graveyard as long as you control a black or green permanent. Master Thief, creature human rogue 2 2 for 4. So when it enters Bedfield, gain control a target artifact for as long as you control Master Thief. Nice one. Military Intelligence, Enchantment for two. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, draw a card. Night Vale Sprite, Creature Fairy Rogue, one, two, for two. With Flying, whenever Night Vale Sprite attacks, Surveil one. So that means look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Open into Wonder, Sorcery for X and two blue. X target creatures can't be blocked this turn. Until end of turn, those creatures gain. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw a card. Okay, so... You're getting a bunch of card draw with these cards as well. Slither Blade. Creature Nagarog 1 2 for a single black. Slither Blade can't be blocked. Triton Shore Stalker Creature Merfolk Rogue. They get getting all the rogues here. 1 1 for a single blue. Triton Shore Stalker can't be blocked. And Whirler Rogue. Creature Human Rogue Artificer 2 2 for 4. So when it enters the battlefield, create 2 1 1 color. Stop the artifact creature tokens with flying. And if you tap two untapped artifacts you control, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Changeling Outcast. Okay, so we've had a bunch of blue. Now we're moving on to black. Creature Shapeshifter, 1-1 one, one for a single black. Has Changeling. This card is every creature type. Changeling Outcast can't block and can't be blocked. Endless Obedience. Sorcery for six. Has Convoke. Your creatures can help cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting a spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's color. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Yes, Frog Tosser, Banneret, Creature, Goblin Rogue. One, one for two with haste. Goblin spells and rogue spells you cast cost one less to cast. Excellent. Marsh Flitter, Creature Fairy Rogue. One, one for four with flying. So when it enters the battlefield, create two. One, one black Goblin Rogue. Creature token, sacrifice a Goblin Marsh Flitter. Flitter has base power and toughness, 3-3 three, three, until end of turn. Light that artwork as well. Murder, instant for 3, destroy target creature. Una's Blackguard, creature fairy, rogue 1-1 one, one for 2 with flying each other. Rogue creature you control and bad food with an additional plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Whenever a creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Price of Fame, instant for 4, this spell costs 2 less cast if it targets a legendary creature, destroy target creature. And Surveil 2, so we learned about that Surveil mechanic on the earlier card. Rise from the Grave, Sorcery for 5, looks like Liliana's is up to her usual mischief. Death is no excuse for disobedience. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colours and types. A Stink Drinker Bandit, creature Goblin Rogue 2-1 for 4 with Prowl 1 and a black. So you may cast this card for its prowl cost if you don't combat damage to a player this turn with a goblin or rogue. Whenever a rogue you control attacks and isn't blocked, it gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. Okay, so that's the first part of the deck. Moving on here, we got Sir Conrad the Grim, legendary creature human knight, 5-4 five, for five. Whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grim deals one damage to each opponent. One in black, each player mills a card. Okay, I was waiting for more mill stuff coming up. 
Zulaport Cutthroat, creature human rogue, ally, 1-1 one, one for 2, this is a good one. Whenever it or another creature you control dies, each opponent loses 1 life, and you gain 1 life. Extract from Darkness, Sorcery, 4-5, each player mills 2 cards, then you put a creature card from graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Yes, more milling, please. Soul Manipulation, I like that artwork. Instant for 3, choose 1 or both, counter target creature spell, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And of course, what would a commander deck be without Arcane Signet? Artifact for two. Tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Commander's Sphere, another one. Artifact for three. Tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Sacrifice Commander's Sphere. You get to draw a card. They didn't include this one in the other deck. I think that's interesting. And a rare Enigma Thief. Creature Sphinx Rogue, 5-5 five, five for seven with Prowl, three and a blue. With flying when it enters Badfield for each opponent return up to one target non land permanent that player controls to its owner's hand. Okay, and then we've got some equipment here. Whisper Steel Dagger. Artifact equipment for three. A quick creature gets plus two plus zero. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, you may cast the creature spell from that player's graveyard this turn. And you may spend mana as though it will mana of any color to cast that spell. Equip it for three. Another rare. Notorious Throng Tribal Sorcery Rogue. For four, prowl five and a blue, create X, one one black, fairy rogue creature tokens with flying, where X is the damage dealt to your opponents this turn. If this spell's prowl cost was paid, take an extra turn after this one. Fun. Okay, Scourge of Fleets, a giant kraken here. Six six for seven. When Scourge of Fleets enters the battlefield, return each creature your opponents control with toughness X or less to its owner's hand, where X is the number of islands you control. Okay, so bouncing creatures back. Stolen Identity. Sorcery for six. Create a token that's copied target, artifact, or creature has cipher. Then you may exile the spell card encoded on a creature you control. Whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player, its controller may cast a copy of the encoded card without paying its mana cost. Fated Return. Instant for seven. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto battlefield under your control. It gains indestructible if it's your turn. Scry two. Gonti, Lord of Luxury. This is another good one. Legendary creature, Aetherborn Rogue. 2, 3, for 4 with Death Touch. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top 4 cards of target opponent's library. Exile one of them face down and put the rest on the bottom of that library in a random order. You may look at and cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as well, mana of any type to cast that spell. In Garrick's Wake, Sorcery for 9. Destroy all creatures you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. I like it. Necromantic Selection Sorcery for 7. Destroy all creatures and return a creature card put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield under your control. It's a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. That's all Necromantic Selection. Lots of rares here. Night Howler. Enchantment Creature Horror. Zero, zero for 3 has bestowed 2 and 2 black. If you cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura spell with Enchant Creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. Night Howler and Enchanted Creature each get... Plus X, plus X, where X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. So he could uh, beef up a fair bit there. Ogre Slumlord, creature Ogre Rogue, 3-3 three, three for 5. Whenever another non-token creature you dies, you may create a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token. Nice. Rats you control have death touch. I like it. Sepultural Primordial, another rare creature avatar, 5-4 for 7 with Intimidate. This creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. When Sepultural Primordial enters battlefield for each opponent, you may put up to one target creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Consuming Aberration, Creature Horror, star star for 5. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your opponent's graveyards. Whenever you cast a spell, each opponent reveals the cards from the top of their library until they reveal a land card, then puts those cards into their graveyard. So you would use that with the uh, mill cards, fill your opponent's graveyard, and then they get hit with this bloke. And a mythic. Lazav Demir Mastermind, legendary creature shapeshifter, 3-3 three, three for 4 with hexproof. Whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you may have Lazav Demir Mastermind become a copy of that card, except its name is Lazav Demir Mastermind. It's legendary in addition to its other types. And it has Hexproof and this ability. Fantastic. Notion Thief. Creature Human Rogue. 3 1 for 4 with Flash of an opponent. With draw a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps. Instead, that player skips that draw and you draw a card. Yes, hose the opponent. Ooh, this one's nice. Una Queen of the Fae. We actually did a uh, 
Commander Snack video on this one, looking for fairy wizards. Uh, I'll pop a link in the corner to this if you have missed that video. Legendary creature fairy wizard, 5546 five, with flying. And for X, and either blue or black, choose a color. Target opponent exiles the top X cards of their library. For each card of the chosen color, exile this way. Create a 1-1 one, one blue and black fairy rogue creature token with flying. This is actually a good commander as well. Silumgar's Command. Another rare instant for five. Choose two. Counter target non-creature spell. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets minus three, minus three into end of turn. Destroy target planeswalker. Spinal Embrace. What is this? I've never seen this before. Instant four, six. Cast a spell only during combat. Untuck target creature you don't control. And gain control of it. It gains haste into end of turn. Beginning in the next end step. Sacrifice it. If you do, you gain life equal to its toughness. That's a fun one. Sig River Cutthroat is here as well. Holy cow, here's another commander. Legendary Creature Merfolk Rogue, 1 3 for 2. I think we did a commander snack with this bloke. I'll pop a link in the corner in case I can remember the link there. At the beginning of each end step, if an opponent lost 3 or more life this turn, you may draw a card. Okay, Black Bay Blade Reforge, Legendary Artifact Equipment for 2, another rare. Equip creature gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. Equip legendary creature for three or equip for seven. Bone Horde, artifact equipment for four. Living weapon ability. When this equipment enters the battlefield, create a zero, zero black germ creature token and attach this to it. All right, so I was wondering where the uh, germs came in. Equip creature gets plus X, plus X, where X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. Equip for two, okay? Taking advantage of that graveyard filling thing as well. Obelisk of Erd, Artifact for 6, has Convoke. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, creature you control, the chosen type get plus 2, plus 2. So I'm probably going to pick, what, rats, goblins, rogues, probably more likely rogues, actually. Scythe Claw, Artifact Equipment for 5, Living Weapon. So there's the uh, germ thing again. Equip creature gets plus 1, plus 1. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half the life. Rounded up, equip for 3. Nice! Okay, so we're getting a whole bunch of artifacts now. Demir Kirun, artifact for three. Tap to add blue or black and fray blue and black. It becomes a 2-2 two -two black, blue and black horror artifact creature in two end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. It's another fun one. Demir Locket, artifact for three. So tap to add blue or black. And for these various combinations here of blue or black, you can tap suck it, draw two cards. Demir Signet, Artifact for 2, pay 1 tap, add blue and black, Heirloom Blade. Artifact Equipment for 3, Equip Creature gets plus 3, plus 1. Whenever a Equip Creature dies, you may reveal cards from the top of your library. And to your reveal a Creature card that shares a Creature type with it, put that card into your hand. And rest it on the bottom of your library in a random order, equipped for 1. So that's good, that's why you're stacking a deck full of rogues, you're probably going to pull a rogue. Mind Stone, Artifact for 2, tap to add colors mana, pay 1, tap second, draw a card. Soul Ring, enough said, tap to add 2 colors mana, what commander deck would be complete without it? And of course, Command Tower, land, tap to add 1 mana of any color in your commander's color identity. So that is the bulk of the deck, and then we'll take a look at uh, some mana here, so Demir Aqueduct enters tapped, when it enters the battlefield, return land you control to its owner's hand, tap for blue and black. So this one enters tapped, Demir Gilgate, tap for blue or black, dismal backwater, and when it enters the battlefield you gain one life, tap it for blue or black. Draw Isle Refuge enters tapped, when it enters the battlefield you gain one life, tap it for blue or black. Myriad Landscape, so this one was in the other deck, enters the battlefield tapped. Tap for colors mana, pay two, tap, sack it, search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. Rogue's Passage, of course, so land, tap, add colors mana, pay four, tap, target creature, can't be blocked this turn. Submerge Boneyard, land, enter battlefield, tap, tap it for blue or black. And a random creature at the end here, oh, we've got a couple of them, all right. Murpho Wind Robber. Creature Merfolk Rogue, 1-1 one, one for a single blue, has flying, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player mills a card. All right. Sacrifice Merfolk, win robber, draw a card, activate this ability, only if an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, and hopefully they will, because you've been milling them like nobody's business. Sure-footed Infiltrator, 2-3 for four. Tap another untapped rogue you control. Sure-footed Infiltrator can't be blocked this turn. 
And whenever a sure-footed infantry trailer duels combat damage to a player, draw a card. Alright, Soaring Thought Thief, Creature Human Rogue, another rogue here. 1-3 for 2 with flash and flying. As long as the opponent has 8 or more cards in their graveyard. Rogues you control get plus 1, plus 0. That's pretty cool. Whenever one or more rogues you control, attack each opponent. Mills, 2 cards. Fantastic. Okay, let's count up the islands. 15 of those. And 15 swamps. Alright, so I am liking this deck. It has rats, it has goblins, it has milling, tons of rogues, uh, lots of fun abilities there, uh, pumping up your creatures, a lot of tribal synergies. So I think of the two decks, this one would probably be my favourite. Leave a note in the comments which one you like the most, and are you planning to pick up either one of these? Uh, I think this is a great idea. Some of those... Um, Planeswalker decks you don't get a lot of use out of. I remember when I started playing, um, maybe only played a couple of games when it was very clear that the deck wasn't that great. Uh, but Commander here, you get a lot more variety in games because of the singleton format. So this is probably a lower power deck along with the other one, but you know what, for 20 bucks I don't think you can go wrong. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Stay tuned, we've got a ton more Zendikar Rising coming up, including another bundle set booster box, and of course, the theme boosters. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.